Hey, is that dog shit or morel mushrooms? Hey guys, saying it's alive. We're here in lovely Montana, meeting up with Steve Ranella from Meat Eater, cooking at his house some of the white fish that we caught the other day. And uh, we're gonna be cooking them up two ways, smoked, and then one of my favorite ways is stewed in tomatoes with some garlic and olive oil. Yeah, let's get to work. Steve Ranella, back at Steve's house. Thanks for having me, Steve. Pleasure. You know, yesterday we kind of we did a great job on the river, caught a bunch of whitefish, even a couple of trout. My first Montana trout. And now we're back here going to show me, you know, one of your favorite ways, one of your favorite ways to prepare whitefish, smoking them. Well, good. Let's set these fish up and uh, we'll get going. We'll scale one, then we'll gut the rest. Yeah, you were saying you got a cool little trick, so easy cleanup for scaling. Yeah. Oh, I love it, man. Dude. It's like you're sitting on a dock, some old timer, you know? That, I mean, there's a lot of ways to scale, but this is a... It works great. Yeah. You know, a little half inch tack screw there. Boom, and your favorite bottle cap. Get one with a nice edge. Yeah. Okay, so the cool. reason I like to do it underwater is you don't blast scales all over the house. You do it dry like that, and they do. The oh, things everywhere. shoot everywhere. Stuck to the ceiling and shit. So I, I do them in there generally. Yeah, all right. Look at that. I like that. Oh, he scales easy. That's a great little tip there, Steve. Your bottle scaler. I like this bus tub action, man. I do it different than how you do it. What are you talking about? I see, you're judging me hard. I, the eyes are just like, like well, hawking me. I, I do it like, it would look aggro, maybe. Real, so, yeah, real section. Harder. Well, I'm doing it harder. I'm doing it methodically. Real sectional. I was a little more random. And then, my signature move, people miss these. Signature so I move. Come and I grab here, and I finish very it. aggressively, very aggressively. Yeah, get that, that. That. Around that gill That's plate. That's a trouble spot. By the collar. That is a tough spot. That's a trouble spot. And down here, too. Yeah, I get all that good. Bag, I got one of your knives there. And I tell you what, I use this for mostly salt water, but for fish. Mm -hmm. well, this is like my kind of my go-to fish knife. Some guy sold one on eBay for over a thousand bucks. What? <laughs> Call me up. I'll, I'll knock you know, <laughs> I'll do 1,200, right? Go and leave a message in the YouTube. So what? So Steve, I'm just gonna do it. I'm Come in his vent. Yeah. They, they, and then you can gill them, but just a vent we call it. I like that. Do you know the fins? Do I mean? Do I know the fins? Do you, can you name the fins? No, Steve. Yeah. Caudal. Caudal. Adipose. Dorsal. Oh, that's the trouty one, right? A little brown trouty, a little weird thing. Ventral. I remember all that stuff. Uh, pectoral. And these sons of I have a hard time remembering. It's yeah, that's a, a tough one. I struggle. It's, um, I got looked. Stew up. on that one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut from the vent. So that's, I'm never calling it anything but. Well, the he vent. has a yeah, he has a uni hole, a cloaca. Go on. Everything he does is in and out of that hole. No kidding. Urination, defecation, re re -produ reproduction. Yeah. I'm guessing that when you open that stomach, it's just gonna be a full of bugs. Black. Oh, is that row? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a black blob of uh, aquatic larva. Feel it. See how it feels gravelly? Yeah. You know why? Because he's eating those case wing caddises. He's eating. Remember how on that rock, the rock? They, they he builds his own house. Gets in that out of that gravel. No. Shit. He's eating the bug and then just passing all that gravel out. That's the what the ca the caddises are uh, encased in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You feel bad about killing him? What, what does he feel about the thousands of things he killed yesterday? He feels really. He felt really good. He's about killed it. thousands of things. All right. Cool. And these would be our little tomato experiment. Now, while you're at it, just gut the rest of them. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna, I'm gonna clean up the rest of these fish, uh, and then we're gonna throw them in the brine. We'll show you Steve's brine, and uh, get the other fish ready for the little tomato, little roasted tomato bake we're gonna do. So it's just a half a gallon of water. A gallon of water. With uh, one measured uh, half cup of salt. A cup of salt. That might have been a little heavy. A half cup of sugar, so I can't forget that. And then a quarter cup of sugar. Yeah. Yeah. I can't forget that. I usually don't heat the brine. We're gonna turn that off. Just a little, you know, we'll use our, our little whisk here and just get it going so it's all nice and dissolved. That's all we need. I don't think we need to heat it all that much. Listen, man. Go. If you don't, house rules. House rules. There. If you don't, what happens is you pour it off, and there's a bunch of the that's supposed to be in there laying in the bottom. Yeah, well, we got it hot. We did, guys. We got it, huh? It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, you're right. Or you can sit there <laughs> four hours. I get it. You're right. We'll put a couple lemons in there. All right, look, we'll do one, one little smash clove of garlic just for good measure. I'm a big garlic guy. When I go with my wife to yoga, you're setting an intention. 
Okay. You want it to taste good? That's right. right? You're setting your intention. Expectations. But it doesn't matter. You're right. As we learned from Rosemary Trout many years ago, that only salt pen pen penetrates through the cellular walls. But I can't help it. In the spirit of that, let's put some dill in there too. Yeah, a little dill, maybe a little mint. Just a spring, all right, Steve? Ooh, a little Montana mint, baby. It brews, it gets the oils out. Really. If you really want that smoked fish to taste good, a little dill. Oh, it's classic. Classic, classic profile. It's very good now. All right, cool. And then we let that hang out, and then we put our fish in there, like I said, overnight. You set one up yesterday that we're gonna be able to smoke today, mm -hmm. so we can go pull that out of the fridge. And now I'm gonna show you something, you know, a little experiment we're gonna do together, Steve. You know, good old-fashioned canned tomatoes, all right, big fan. Just crushing these up a little, because they were whole. You know, you could do it whole, or you could buy them crushed, but this is what we had, and uh, it's what I asked for. Uh, yeah, so we got a little tomato going, and I put about three cloves of crushed garlic that I just gently uh, sliced up there. I have oregano. You do? If you want it, yeah, in the garden. Oh yeah, I have sage in the garden. Oh, let's do a little, a uh, little mixed uh, bouquet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Steve. That's what you're for. Let me get the fish. All right, I'll hit him with a little, little olive oil. Oh, that's the move. All right, lots of that stuff. Let's just get it going. All right, we'll do a little, a little salt in there. Oh, I'm liking it, man. He's yeah, come taste. on. Look at this beautiful fish. Look, a little pinch of sugar too. Tomatoes are sweet, but I'm gonna add just a little bit to it. Take a grind off this. <laughs> Feel that thing. Now take a take a stroke. Machine titanium? Take a stroke on that once. Oh, oh. oh Ooh. Dude, Tony. That's well made. Yeah, it's something else, isn't it? Wish I could remember the guy that made that. Yeah, come on. Here's his chance. I know, here's his chance. Kimmy Warner, a spear fisherman, gave it to Kimmy me. Kimmy Swimmy. Pepper cannon. Pepper cannon. This thing has got, this, you know, you could turn around and like, you know, club a bear with this yeah, that thing. That thing's amazing, though, isn't it? Ooh, it's got a nice feel. Oh, just like. Geared real it's nice. Like grinding pepper in a Rolls Royce, man. Beautiful. Everyone should grow herbs, right? If you can, put them right in the window. So we got a little sage, we got a little oregano, and we got a nice little sprig of mint. Yeah, and pack a little tomato in there, but not too much. Yeah, oh, it's exciting, man. I like it. Yeah, right? Got our little chilled brine. And we're gonna just throw our, our little fishies in there. Let them get nice and uh, nice and briny. And we can, you know, that's another little batch of smoke, like we were saying. Two hours overnight ideal. All right, so Steve, we got our white fish all brined up, cleaned up yesterday. They've been in there overnight. Now we're gonna, you know, just pat them off. They get a little slimy, a little. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times hose them or, you know, rinse them. Uh, let's blast them off. Okay, yeah, there you go. So you got the nice little cabin smoker running on propane. We can just kind of, uh, what, what temperature you usually have to smoke these at? I'm watching for when it'll peel That's right. really nice. And I'm also watching for like, how much time I have. That's right. So if I could do it one way or another, uh, if I could take my time, I'll take my time. But if I gotta go, gotta I'll just done. crank the heat up. And then you know it's cooking though. When you get like, oh, the fat so comes off and looks like, looks like, like, a, looks like white, somewhat, like, looks like cream cheese. Yeah, like scrambled egg whites. Yeah, that, that their smoker's too hot. If you find something, and I should do this too, I should be a lot better at this. If you find like the magic combo, yeah, I guess write it down. Yeah. Those are good. Well, these look great, man. We're gonna let them hang out, dry a little bit, right? Get a little air on them. We can trust them in the meantime. Pelicle. We'll run the, run the ropes on them here and go, go ready to hang them in. Let the smoke, oh, what do you got there? Show me that again, Steve. You got a nice little technique going. Well, I'm just delivering the string. Yeah, that works out great. We got, all right, just a nice. I like doing like that. Classy. One of the last little dealy. Oh, not him off there. You gotta throw a granny in the end there. There you go. Man, that's some classy right there, Steve. Oh, yeah. That's something you like teach your kids and like feel good about. That's him. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. man. Let's go over. We're gonna get these get a little Simple air browns. dry on them, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, look at these little tails go. All right, here we go. Fire in a hole, bud. Oh that, oh, that wasn't too bad, huh? It's a propane element, you know, a heating element. It just got a little burner down there. You know, we're just going straight dry chips. We're going to do a kind of warm, dry smoke uh, right on there. So we'll warm that up. And then this is just a cabinet smoker, which is nice. Steve's got, Steve's got these things, which are fantastic. You can just, for hanging, you know, instead of putting on the racks. I'll tell you a good smoke fish story. I borrowed my buddy's smoker. It was smoking some bear meat from Southeast Alaska. It tasted like smoked salmon. And I said to him, you need to clean that smoker out, man. Right. That smoked salmon got all over my bear meat. He goes, I never smoked salmon in that smoker. 
No kidding. And it was the bear. It was so gorgeous. Salmon-y salmon. that he tasted like smoked salmon. No kidding. One guy liked it. Dirt myth. <laughs> he thought it was great. Dirt myth is an alien. I've had like I've had trichinosis. I've had all these foodborne pathogens. Issues. You know. Okay. Food so yep. there are things that you don't want to let hover for prolonged periods at certain temps. Right. Danger zone. Danger right? zone stuff. Forty and then one forty, right? Yeah. Go. No, let's get the fish going. Yeah, I like it. One day a guy was at a was watching a guy at a tire. The guy was watching a guy at a tire. As all great shop. stories go. At a tire repair shop and saw that they used the scales to rough up tires to patch them. No sh Yeah, the coalescence. I gotta learn my defects to tell you that story, but it's interesting. Just yeah. about fish scales. I'm not, you know, fat, everything I say basically needs to be fact checked. Mm. There we go. Oh, that's a Put that on the cover, cover of a magazine, man. Psh, cover at anything. Modern smoker. Boy, that's a beautiful thing, Steve. All right, so we're gonna let these cook for a couple hours. We'll keep an eye on them. You know, every every smoke's a little different, but you know, probably two, three hours, I'd say. All right, Steve, grab the uh, the uh, hot smoker oven. I got it set to 250, uh, which is nice. And uh, we're gonna do a nice little slow roast. We'll check on it. Well, that's it's really beautiful. pretty, man. And maybe at the end, we'll blast it real quick. Pull the muscle lower in my door. Yeah, you gotta be careful. It's always the silly thing, you Those, know? The, the arm I wasn't even using. We're not the young pups we used to be, Steve. No. Yeah, so our fish are done smoking. They've been going for a few hours, to, you know, about two, two and a quarter. And um, we got it, you know, turned it off. They're just hanging out, resting nice. We're going to be making, you know, Steve's world famous uh, smoked whitefish dip riette. And I'm going to help him out. We got a little bit of onion that I, gonna, that I sliced up and diced up real nice, mince, you know, real fine, and about three, two cloves of garlic. Um, and now we're just gonna, you know, he was telling me to zest up one, one lemon with his favorite little zester here. Right, Steve, you got this thing for cocktails. For Father's Day. Father's Day. And then also, ooh, 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 this is work. Cooking at Steve's is great. And he also came out with some, um, some young horseradish, which is fantastic. I'm gonna mince that up into mm -hmm. a paste, add that to it, mince up this. I'm gonna slice up some of these scallions and then the leaves here, I'm just gonna do a real quick little shift and nod, quick little thin slice, and I'm gonna throw it in the tomato. Look at these bad boys. Ooh, these are, these are done too. I'm gonna crank the temperature up just a second. And I'm gonna slice up these scallions at the end, and uh, I put a little black pepper in there. Oh, oh, and then the, and the secret ingredient, the little fresh horseradish, all right? We'll peel that off a little bit. Really nice color, yeah. Beautiful. You know a thing on, on knowing when it's done is uh, you feel it, and it's like there's there's, a, there's space. A little puff away. Yep. That is gorgeous, Steve. Yeah, it's like opening a good book, man. Just like opening a good book. Isn't that cool? Mmm. Let's bring these to the table. Start picking. Peels right back. Almost looks like a trout, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's better than smoked trout. <gasps> really? Oh yeah. That's coming off not too bad though. No, that's the trouble bone. The trouble bone. Yeah, this is so good. It's just, it's a good fish to smoke. Mmm. Let's pick another one and we'll have enough for our deal. Oh my God, it's like butter. This is, I don't know if I want to say underrated, but why isn't this on like every menu? That's what I'm talking about, healthy portion of butter. You slap that right well, in there, This is like Stevie. the base, man. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Ah! Yeah, make sure it's not poison. Of onion? You can do what you want. Well, no, you tell me. That's the fish. Okay, that's the fish. Yeah. That's good. A little more. Oh, you smell that, Steve. Good God, it's perfect. Right. Onions, a little garlic, and butter. You can't f***ing beat it. Pardon my French, I'm sorry. This is going to be delicious. Flavor's got nowhere to hide. Oh, Sauvignon Blanc. And then we'll kind of let, we want that to kind of thicken back up. Yes, a bit sir. Now. Yes, sir. Let me get some little bowls that we're going to chill it in. Yes, chef. Done. Oh, yeah. Come let on. me get that NASA black do pepper, the, too. Do the, do the chives. Solid. No chives. We called them scallions before. Well, there you go. I like that. Oh, and then we need this up in there. 
Yeah, a little lemon zest, garlic, onion, um, and some chives. And then we've got our fish, a little bit of white wine, some nice horseradish from the garden. Oh! I feel like you do this cold sometimes. Oh, I make it. That's oh, it's I'm, going in the fridge. Just for a minute, just for the butter. Yeah, to, yeah. To, so it's help spread, it set up a so little. It's spready. That looks great, Steve. Need help? Yeah. Follow. Look at this spread, bud. Fit for kings and queens. Look at that. Damn, son, that's good, man. What, what'd you put in there? Like nothing, just tomato. Yeah, that's good. So simple. You know what it is? It's like smoky tomatoes, you know? Can't go wrong, smoky tomato and oily fish. Mmm. And you know what it is? It started with how we treated it, right? On the boat, we didn't just let it flop around on the bottom of the boat for four hours in the sun. Yeah. Killed it, put it on ice. And I mean, look at that. You could tell someone that was like almost anything. Okay. Yeah. yeah, look at that though. Come on. Hard to argue that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Spreadable smoked fish. That with a little rice. Oh. That's awesome. On a scale of one to ten of uh, edible white fish, I mean edible uh, freshwater fish. Ten. You're going ten. Ten. Oh yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Same, man. I was saying just as far as fresh eight. water, eight. Ten, eight. I didn't think I could um, come to love them more, but man. now I love them even more. Me too. I think it might be one of my. Deal. It might be one of my favorite fish in America. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. White fish, man. I think it, like I was saying before. You know, folks come and don't get me wrong, I'm glad we caught a couple of trout yesterday. And like secretly, I, I wanted to. But to be able to catch something that's all that's just like a native fish here that's been embedded in this, this land and the people have been here, you know, way before we have. Well, this is awesome. And I'm glad we got to cook and catch and celebrate these awesome fish together, man. And just hanging out and, uh, and having me at your beautiful home, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, you got some that... big mitts, Steve. Oh, dude, humongous. Banana fingers. Yeah. My old man met John Wayne once, and John Wayne shook my old man's hand and said, um, you're, that's the only hand I ever shook that was bigger than mine. Stop it. Yeah. Man, you got some good stories, Steve. Oh, dude, yeah. And I've never shook a man. on that guy. I'd like to think that I could. I think, yeah. yeah. John Wayne take would be John, impressed. Take Johnny Wayne on. John Wayne ain't got nothing on Steve Ranella, baby. You think John Wayne eat whitefish? Ah, uh, they give me gout, he'd probably say or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of this guy's house. <laughs>